Welcome to Kids Cove News. This is such a special day as we celebrate our Seder meal together and learn all that it means to us as Christians. I am so excited to learn about this celebration. We have some other celebrations today too. We have some birthdays. Oh, that's right, we do. So happy birthday to Michaela and to Brooks. Both Michaela and Brooks are celebrating birthdays on March 28th. Happy birthday, friends. That's right. And we also have Christian and Louisa celebrating birthdays on March 29th. Happy birthday, friends. Birthdays are so much fun. We are so excited as we are preparing to celebrate the most special day of our year, Easter Sunday. We are just weeks away from Easter. We sure are. And today, we're going to participate in a special celebration. I can't wait to hear from our guests, Miss Susie Hawkins and Miss Melanie Leach. Let's get started. That's, That's a wrap, wrap for, for Kids Coke, Coke News. News. See you next week. Hey, I Campus Kids, my name is Yancey, and I can already tell that today is going to be a really special day. I'm excited to sing with you. Get up on your feet. This song is going to help us walk in obedience. So come on, get ready. Get on your feet. It is time. Ready, set, go. Come on, you can clap your hands, too. God speaks all the time. We can hear him if we try. Are you listening? Oh. Stop our change, we follow. Yes, we follow. There's a start and finish line.
Welcome back, my friends, to iCampus Kids. I'm Miss Amanda, and I have a wonderful story to share with you today. The last few weeks, we have been learning about different people from the Bible that had choices to make. Isaac chose to be kind, but King Saul made the wrong choice, and then he was no longer the king. Last week, Queen Esther made the brave choice to speak to the king and save her people. The Bible is full of real people that made right choices and some that made wrong choices. God wants us to know that he has a plan for us and that he wants to help us do what is right and good. Today, we will learn about a boy named Daniel and his three friends. Let's find out about what they chose to do. Grab your Bible and turn to the Old Testament. The Bible has two parts, the Old Testament and the New Testament. Our story today is in the book of Daniel. The Bible is a very special book written by God. Because God wrote it, we know everything is real and true. God gave us this special book so we can learn more about him and his son Jesus and how much he loves us. The Bible tells us about a boy named Daniel and his three friends that went to live at the palace of King Nebuchadnezzar. They were learning how to be special helpers to the king. The king wanted Daniel and his friends to eat the food he ate, the king's food. But Daniel knew that God had rules about what kind of food to eat. He knew that the king's food was not the food he should eat. Daniel asked the king's helper, Will you bring vegetables and water for my friends and me? The king's helper was afraid the boys would not be strong and healthy and that the king might get mad. Daniel said, Please, feed us vegetables and water for 10 days. Then we can see if we are as strong and healthy as the other men. The king's helper agreed. After 10 days, Daniel and his friends were stronger and healthier than the other men. Let's look at the picture. God helped Daniel and his friends learn many things. And they helped the king in many ways. Daniel and his friends chose to obey God. Our Bible verse says, Do what is right and good. Deuteronomy 6, 18. Daniel and his friends loved God and chose to obey. Let's pray and ask God to help us to choose to obey. Father God, we love you so much, and we thank you for this time together. And Lord, I thank you for each one of these boys and girls. And Father, I pray that you hide the words that we've learned in their hearts. Father, draw them close to you. Help them to know your son, Jesus. Father, I pray also that you would help them to learn to choose to obey. Obey you, Father. Obey their parents. Obey any adults in their life, Lord. Help help them to learn to make that good choice, just like Daniel did. We love you, we love your son Jesus, and we pray all of these things in his beautiful name, amen. Okay, let's play a game and sort some food that is healthy versus some food that maybe is not so healthy. All right, will you help me? Okay, this looks like soda. Do you think soda to drink is healthy or not healthy? Mm, You're right, not healthy. Soda would not be healthy for you to drink. Oh, how about chicken and green beans and potatoes? Is that a good healthy meal, you think? Yep, I think you're right. That would be healthy to eat. Okay, how about candy? Do you think candy is gonna keep us healthy and make us strong? No, you're right, not healthy. Candy is not healthy for us. Oh, look at this, chocolate cake. What do you think about chocolate cake? Chocolate cake's yummy, but if we ate a whole lot of chocolate cake, would that be healthy for us? No, not so healthy. All right, oh, broccoli. Now, do you like broccoli? I actually love broccoli, and 
broccoli is definitely healthy, right? Okay, oh, look at all these vegetables and fruits. There's bananas and apples. Would this be healthy for you to eat? Would it help make you strong? You're right, that's definitely healthy. Oh, water, a glass of water. Is water good for you to drink? Absolutely, much better than soda. And our last one, chocolate chip cookies. I happen to love chocolate chip cookies, but chocolate chip cookies are not very healthy for me, are they? Well, I don't know about you. I love chocolate chip cookies, but I guess I better eat some broccoli since it's healthy for me. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a great week. Bye-bye. I'm Coach Bobcat, Whew. the new strength and conditioning coach for iCampus Kids. It's good. All right, friends, it's time to stretch. So everybody, get up on your feet. Let's go. Get everybody up. Okay, all right. You guys ready for some upside downs? Let's go. Up, side, down. Let me hear you say up, side, down. A little bit louder. Go up, side, down. Last time, go up, side, down. Let's walk in place, friends. Walk in place, everybody. Come on. Walk in place, everybody. Let's go. Walk in place, everybody. With a smile. Walk in place, everybody. Okay, it's time to eat, so you know what to do. Let's get a pot, all right, and a big old spoon. And what do we do? We stir the chili. Come on, everybody. Stir the chili. Come on, everybody. Stir the chili. Come on, everybody, and stir the chili. What do we do now? Oh, yeah, let's taste the chili. Mmm, come on, taste the chili. Mmm, come on, taste the chili. Mmm, come on, taste the chili. You know what we need. We need a little salt. Say it with me. We need a little pepper. Say it with me. We need a little salt. Come on, everybody. And we need a little pepper. Come on, everybody. We need a little salt. Come on, everybody. And we need a little pepper. Let's stir that chili. Stir the chili. It's a big old pot. Stir the chili. It's going to be good. Stir the chili. Are you ready for some chili? Stir the chili. All right, everybody. Let's go ahead and take a seat. Take a seat. Mmm, friends. Eating a well-balanced, healthy diet is what is the fuel for our body, and it's what we need to stay strong. Now, Daniel had a special diet that he needed to eat, you know, because it was from his Jewish religion and traditions, and it was, you know, it was put to the test real early in his life. Nebuchadnezzar also ordered that some of the sons from the royal family and the noblemen be trained to serve in his court. Now, these trainees were to be young men of superior appearance, intelligence, and abilities. Now. Among those chosen were Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Now, these young men, they had names that honored God, but Nebuchadnezzar changed their names to include his Babylonian gods. So we kind of know them by Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and Belshazzar, all right? Now, that was Daniel's new name. Okay, these four captives didn't want to, you know, they, they didn't eat, they didn't want to eat the royal food and drink. So Daniel spoke up for himself and his three friends. He was determined and asked permission to eat only vegetables and drink only water. Now, that was risky, you know, and the chief officer, you know, said no, but the guard allowed for them to just eat vegetables and drink water and he saw better results from them in their healthy diet, so much so that he kept giving them vegetables and waters for their friends to keep eating. Now, at the end of three years, the king found that the four captives from Judah, they were 10 times healthier than all of the magicians and all the mediums in his entire kingdom. Now, God helped them obey what is written in the Bible, we need to follow God's word by choosing to recognize what is wrong and what is right, okay? I'm gonna choose what is right. You guys with me? All right, guys, I'm Coach Bobcat, the new strength and conditioning coach for iCampus Kids. It's good! Hi, boys and girls. It is so good to see you again on iCampus Kids. We hope you had so much fun listening to our Bible story with Miss Amanda hanging out with Coach Bobcat and singing with Jancy. Yes, you know, today we have learned how Daniel chose to obey God. 
Daniel knew he could not eat the king's food because it was not prepared according to God's laws. So Daniel did not want to disobey God. I am so glad Daniel chose to obey God and make good choices with his food. We have some really fun food choices today that we are going to examine. You will need some fruits and vegetables, what we have here, cauliflower and bell peppers and corn, and a magnified glass to see the fruits and veggies up close. Yes, look at all this pretty produce. We have eggplant, to see that purple there? and spaghetti squash, the yellow down here, the cauliflower, and at the bottom here, we have some yummy cantaloupe, and even some mushrooms. So you may have some of these in your kitchen, or you may have other fruits and vegetables. So just ask your mom or dad to help you cut open the fruit and veggies so you can look inside. Teresa, what do you want to cut open first? Mm, I would like to look at the bell paper, the red you one. the red one? Yes. Ones? You love red, don't you? Yes. Okay. And I love bell paper. I'm going to cut it down the middle. Whoops. Oh. Here, let me give you half. Be sure to not use a knife. Let your mom or dad okay. help you with that. Oh, do you smell it? Oh. I love that smell. That's a strong smell. And I'm going to use my magnifying glass. I can see Look at that, how God made the pepper. It has seeds wow. up inside. That is so it cool. It is so cool. That is so cool. Do you ever eat these? No, Michelle. You don't? <laughs> no, not the seeds, but the bell pepper. But do you eat the I, bell pepper? I love it. I it love it. It is good. It is really good. It's good on your fajitas, if you like fajitas. Let's pick something else to cut. I wonder, have you ever seen what it looks like on the inside of Let's find out. Let's see. I don't think there's eggs inside this eggplant. Maybe seeds? seeds? I don't know. Oh, what color do you think it is? Let's try so what color do you think it is on the inside? Hmm. Maybe <laughs> light purple? Oh, it's not no. purple. Look at that. And you can see all those seeds. I gotta look at my magnifying glass. Look at that. Mr. Wow. Wilson. So cool. That is pretty. So cool <laughs> how God gave us healthy foods and they grow. That is so cool. You can find them at the grocery store too, but that is so much fun. All right, can we cut one more? Yes. What do you want yes. to cut? Mm, what about what about the corn? Oh yeah. Or you want I, to do the the So that kind that of? peels back. That's fresh corn. Will you show us how to do that? Can you pull that open? So just pull the husk off, pull it down. Okay. That is some fresh corn. I can smell. Oh, it does look corn. really. Look at Tell all me. the mess. Look at all that. It's kind of messy. Yeah. But you just pull it off and look at the colors. Some of the kernels are yellow and some of them are white. Wow. It's really interesting. It's very, yes. That look at all these good. here. Yes, it feels funny too. Mm -hmm. It's so fun to examine vegetables and fruit and look at seeds. That's so fun to do. Looking at the fruits and veggies and seeing all the seeds and how God made them for us to eat is so much fun. It is. Thank you for examining fruits and veggies with us today. See, See you next week, week on, on iCampus, iCampus Kids. Kids. Hello, iCampus kids. I have a question for you before we sing today. What happens when you see a red light? You stop. That's right, you guys are so smart. And what happens when you see a green light? You go. This song is called Stop and Go, and it's all about us obeying God and being obedient to what he says. We're going to have lots of fun, and don't forget, Daniel chose to obey God. So come on, let's go. And go, stop and go, stop and go, stop. Stop and go, stop and go, stop and go, go. Stop and listen to what God says. Go and do what He tells you. 
Show his love, yeah. 